Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. This is Josh. Hi. Alex and David. Hello. Hey guys. Paul Cruz here. And uh, I have the Kraken. And I'm going to fly the Kraken in the air. And these guys are just going to chase him. Bother me. Really. Yes. We're just going to have fun today. It's Let, a let's fly. Let's fly. Let's fly. Let's do it. Right now? So what are we flying in? Um, uh, well, we got the Blackout multi rotors. And these are actually racing multi copters. So they're really super fast. Um, super tiny. I can't believe these things are carrying GoPros. Now, Josh is using a mini H quad. I have, yeah. me and David have a Spider Hex. Yep. I'm um, running a four cell setup on mine. You're running a 3S? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, this is the recommended setup for the H for Josh's and mine. What size battery um, you have in yours? 3300. 3-cell. Three 3-cell, three 45C. <laughs> That's nice. awesome. What are you running, 1800? 1800 3-cell, uh, yep. Uh, high C, what, 35C rating? Mm -hmm. And uh, also, uh, this is normally meant to carry a Mobius, not a GoPro, but it had performance with it. And, and one other thing we went a step further too is if you see here, these are the Immersion RC 600 milliwatt transmitters. Yes. These things cover so much ground so quickly, don't go with the small tight end 250, right? Yeah, you yeah. go with the 600. It. And it's pretty nice because we're all three running it and we can actually fly together. It's pretty awesome. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you notice something, why in the world are these suckers red? These are the new Spyro nets, aren't they? Yes. They're really nice. They're taller and they're... Uh, they're rigid. Yes, they're super rigid. A little the, bit more uh, The beefy. other ones yeah. were floppy. So when you bend it, it stays there. No more floppy antennas. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So we're going to chase Josh That's with right. the uh, Kraken, right? Right. So you get to take the crack enough for a spin. You guys ready to go? Awesome. Yeah, I'm ready. I know this doesn't look like it's awkward to hold, but it actually is. It looks okay. quite awkward, yeah. especially with that crazy appendage on the bottom, huh? Yeah, uh, this is a, a Bombay. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be ultimately for those people that really want it when the candy drop. You really want yeah. a candy drop. You right. know, when you want to take those kids out, cluster bomb style. If you're out the field <laughs> and, you, and you want uh, your lunch, just drop your lunch. You can get it anytime, okay. anywhere. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Hi, David! Hey. You go ahead, Dave. Good evening. So, Josh, go ahead, take off. You ready? Yeah, and we're in. It. Okay, take it off. Okay, we're up in here. Yay! We're flying! We're flying. Now we're just going to find Josh. I'm north, southwest. What's that mean? Just just north of south and a little bit to the to west. To your right or to your left? There's uh, somebody. To, to my yeah, left. Me. Hey, to your left? So, yep. Hey, man. How high up okay. there? Is uh, I'd say about 100 feet. Um, I don't see him. Do you see him? No. How can we miss that? I'm, the, like, I'm huge the big curtain. white thing in the sky. Are you, are you, He's probably, he may be higher than yeah, us. Yeah, try to go. Oh, I, th I see him. There he is. I just, something weird happened there. I found him. He's out, he's out pretty far. Is that you, Whoa, Alex? Oh, holy hey. cow. Not pretty far as in there. Wow, that's far. I don't see him. I'm on him. He's coming He's towards coming the towards house. He's coming towards us. Yeah. Okay, from how high up? It's, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. My quad's doing at? really evil things. I see a shadow, but my quad keeps like freaking out on me. It's so slow. It is. Are you down low, Josh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna okay. need to come in and get a new battery though. All right, I'm gonna swap out my battery. Here it is. All right, let's see. Yeah, you said you brought some more batteries. batteries. It's just you and me, Alex. Cool. Do you see him? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> you are right on him. There, I see him. Where are you? I'm behind him. So I see you You're in front of me. So I'm on him. He's turning. Mm -hmm. Okay, you passed above me. Where the heck did he go? I I think my battery's dead too. No, really? Yeah. There. Is that you coming down, Alex? Yeah. Okay, so it's just me and you then, Josh. I know where I'm at. Yeah, I see you. All right. Pass him right underneath you. <laughs> Look at you just motor around. Okay, thank you. Sorry, dude. Okay, here we go. I'm on you. Come on. Sorry if I almost hit anyone there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty awesomely close. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Hey, we get to see how it crashed us. What happened? I lost yeah. it. <laughs> well, supposedly these things are supposed to be pretty durable, so <laughs> now, <laughs> now we'll see. Ah, Dave, you get a pretty good flight time out of that. Yeah, pretty good. I should have roughly a so minute left. You're running a four cell 22? Yeah, four cell 2200. Dave, land on top of it. Yeah, I wanna, I really wanna do that. Push the limit, man. Let's see if I can. Uh, 
catch up to. So fly it in a straight, nice and straight line as long uh -huh. as you can. All right, I'm coming back around again. Yeah. Oh, crap. Are you losing battery? Yeah. Do really, you want me to come really, in? really fast. Indeed. When the battery goes, man, it goes. Oh. <laughs> it stopped. I hit so hard to stop the recording. <laughs> nice, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> that thing looks so funny. It just <laughs> blew. Cool. Okay. Well, that was kind of uneventful. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that didn't exactly go as planned, kind of uneventful, uh, but there's more stuff we're gonna do. So right now we're going to compare the speed of the Blackout Hex compared to David's uh, tricopter. What happened to what happened to Josh? Yeah, Josh had a little bit of an issue. I'm not really sure if he had a brownout or what, but that he sounded like it. He bit pretty hard, so he's in the he's in the garage right now putting his back together. Uh, they're actually pretty durable though. He can almost fly it as is, but nothing. Uh, yeah, nothing broke except for the. Um, the Bites. plastic parts, yeah. which was by design to replace a couple cheap plastic screws and you're good to go. Nice. So he's in there fixing that, so we're gonna test the speeds of these of these guys. Okay, Josh Scott, are you in the middle of the runway? Is the middle uh, in between the two small orange cones? Yes. All right, I will be. I am now. Okay, I'm gonna do my first pass, see what I can do. All right, bring it. Oh, sorry, that was way 41. high. 41. How much? 41. 41. That was really not, lousy. Not impressive. Okay, I'll go out this way and do another one. Yeah, hit me again. Well, don't hit me, but do it again. <laughs> Bring it. Oh, sorry. 45. That's uh, pretty fast. Ah, uh, that's pretty bad. You can do better. One more. All right, let's do it. What's your goal? What are you pushing for? 50. Let's do it. Back to 41. What? Right, then you're I'll going against the wind that way. All right, doing it again? Now, I'll wait for Alex. Do you want to go, Alex? Yeah, I'll go. You ready, Josh? Yeah, so David's top speed, 45. The tricopter, let's see what Alex Hex does. That sounds so angry. <laughs> uh, you have to bring it a little bit closer to me, Alex, and clock. All right. <laughs> That was awesome. It was so fast, there's not enough digits on the radar gun. Let's go with that one. 46. Oh, really? So you already beat David by one. I'm going to beat that. See if you can get a better run? Yeah. 36. You guys are getting slower. <laughs> Woohoo! That was, that was really close. 49, Alex. No. I think I got a technique down. All right, come on, David. 44, not bad. Ah. You ready? Yep. <laughs> 31. <laughs> what was that technique you came up with? <laughs> Thirty-eight, David. Wow, that was bad. I think my battery's already shot. <laughs> you guys have both got your best speed coming uh, from your from your right. Forty-seven, Alex. Ah, that's a little bit too close. Forty-six, David. Not bad. I was cheating. I was diving. Yeah, into my face. <laughs> okay, Alex. Do you wanna? Where are you? I wanna go at the same time as you. Uh, I'm down to our right. Okay, I'm gonna go over to Alex and we're gonna sync up and see if we can do. I, 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 I could probably do one more. There you go. Signal okay. one. Whoa! You see me? No. A lot behind there, there. you. Yeah, I see you. Okay, you ready? Wait for it, wait for it. I need to line it. Okay, go. Whoa! That was pretty awesome! <laughs> Whoa, that was nice. <laughs> I gotta come in. I want to take this home in one piece, preferably. <laughs> and I'm surprised it's still in one piece. Well, I think it's safe to say that Alex won this one. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> but considering considering you you didn't make your tricopter for racing, no. that's pretty impressive. Wow, it's bright. Ah. <laughs> Aww. 
So the blackout quad was decommissioned by me because uh, I had the little antenna rubbing up against the motor and I kept on getting brownouts. Not to be confused with blackouts as Josh got yeah, said. Yeah, it, it was a brownout, not a blackout. Yeah, exactly. Brownout fall, not and, a blackout and by the way, it's not from Spectrum. The antenna was physically just grazing up against the metal housing. It was my fault. But it took quite a hit, broke those plastic screws. I forgot the plastic screws to bring to repair it. So I took off the whole top plate, inverted it, kind of like how the spider hexes are configured and we're gonna put it back up in the air. Okay, so this is uh, second flight. Second flight. Second flight. Nice takeoff. Don't mind this time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feel, Josh? Awesome! Oh What's that noise? It's, it's almost hard to stay slow enough to not hit it. Josh, is that you up there with me? Yeah, that's me. Where are right. you? I'm coming. Uh, I'm Whoop, it's doing it again. <laughs> you hear that? Wait, did you crash? No, not yet. <laughs> I'm working on it though. Oh, there's grass in my hex. No, you guys not... want me to go ahead and release the streamer so you can find me better? Oh, hold on a second. Let me find you before you do that. I'm right in the middle of the field right now. If I knew which one you were, I would give you better direction than that. I'm the little black one. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm all the way at the left side of the can you strip. Get, I'm turning back around. Can you get lower? Yeah, I can get lower. I don't see you, brother. Somebody's passing under me right now. How high are you? Uh, about 75 feet. Ooh, there you are. You see me? Pop the streamers. Yeah, do it. I'm right behind you. Okay. There they are. There they are. Target Happy tiny. birthday! I'm gonna cut one. I like it. I feel so festive now. Where are you? Over oh, way out by the trees almost. We're the, we're the birthday party up in the sky. What's that noise? What is that noise? I don't know if it's me. That sounds awful. All right, I don't think it was me. I think I'm safe. I think I'm good. I feel good. Oh, uh, it's me. Oh, you know what that probably is? It's probably the harmonics of the thing. <laughs> really? It sounds like a cow, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Okay, well, Josh, where are you? I'm right in the middle of the field. All right, let me look for your shadow. That. <laughs> oh, there it is. That sounds like me. a taser or something. Oh, that's so awesome with the streamers. I'm gonna cut one. Oh, there you are. Oh, that's awesome. I see Alex. I'm gonna cut one. What the heck? Oh, you got it. You got it. Nice. Oh, I'm almost got one. See if I can cut one. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, come almost. On, come on. Ooh, I got that's you, Josh? Yeah. Oh, I think I got one. Yep, Whoa. you got it, you got it. You guys got me? I'm on ya. Bye, What's bomb. that? That's it. Oh! oh. Where are Who you? is that? That was me. I, was, I went a little too crazy. Oh, there you are. Dude. <laughs> I, I, I went to dive bomb it. I heard and, dive bomb, oh. <laughs> and I, I hit it and it just went black. Completely black. You knocked so, some pieces off of something. My video oh, nice. got it completely out. I Who probably that? killed a GoPro. That was me. Nice. Another GoPro, David? Probably. We'll see. You know, we're going to wear out our warranties. That, that looks awesome in the air, man. Did he crash? Dude. Yeah, I crashed really, really hard. hard. That was awesome. Ah! I was like right in front of it. I almost got eaten by the props. Back you gotta wait for you to fly over me. There you are. <laughs> uh, it looks awesome. From yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna hit you. Did I almost hit you? Yeah, almost. Woo! I almost hit you. Get it, Alex. Get it, get it, get it. Up, up, up. You, almost. No, I don't see you anymore. Come on. Oh, there you are. He's turning. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Came out of nowhere. My, oh, Josh, there Sorry. you were. I'm gonna go and get my Crazy uh, little quad. Oh, I think I got a streamer. Did I get a streamer? Yep, you got a little piece. Woo! I think it's taking you down, too. You have a streamer it's on you. It's still stuck to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best birthday ever, you guys. It really is. It flies. Oh, there they are. They're going out to get David's hex. Oh, I wanna... I'm, I'm gonna go film them. If you actually fly it responsibly, it's pretty smooth. <laughs> Like I'm filming them right now. Not that anybody's doing that. It does not feel like a mini tiny hex. The quad, honestly, the quad is just so natural to fly. Nice. Got it. Nice. <laughs> I heard that. All right, I'm coming in for a landing. I didn't take off. Hey, Josh, you want to set up? Let me try to get behind you and maybe I can. All right. Yeah, I'll set up. Coming across now. Here he comes. He's to our left, Josh. 
I'm milking the last little bit of my batter. I can yeah, feel gonna, it right now. I'm gonna take off two and I'll film you, Josh. Scott. Okay. Where are you, Josh? You want me to bring it back around then? No, you're good. Yeah, bring it in for a landing. There you are. Ah, oh, there you are. Nice. <laughs> I forgot I still had the bomb hatch open. I think that's all mine. Drone. I can't even get it off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Did you land on it? <laughs> that's awesome. Good nice. flying, man. That was fun. I wonder how Dave's hex looks. I'm know. interested. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. They feel so locked in and uh, I tell you what, you see people, if you look up Blackout on like YouTube yeah. or on Vimeo, there's tons of awesome videos of people doing crazy wow. stuff flying through trees. Actually Blackout himself, yes. he doesn't have a name, he just goes Mr. by Blackout. Blackout. <laughs> Which is awesome. But anyways, he'll go right up to like a maple tree and just fly right through, through it. it. He just we, pushes it. Yeah, we, didn't, we didn't explore that capability too much. We were just in, interested in speed and using it we, for but we, all air to air. Guys, the ground though. Yeah, all three of you guys hit the ground in a very violent way. And, and you're all in pretty good shape. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All three of these are still flyable. Um, the one thing I strongly recommend if you put these together, get those extra plastic screws, carry them with you because I thought for sure we'd break a prop. Props are fine, frames fine. It's those little black plastic screws that strip out and, and yep. take the hit. And I think that's by design too. Yeah. Because it's going to have to fail at some point and yeah. why not the plastic cheap stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I was actually flying through these trees and stuff and I I, I probably hit the ground doing yeah. about the 50 miles an hour. It was, <laughs> it it looked fast. Like it. And mine was the best out of everybody somehow. Yeah. I think yeah. it's luck. I hit Josh Scott yeah. flying the Kraken. He basically went right through my control surface. I was yeah. doing a high speed dive because I was going down and I was going to hit the uh, streamer but I misjudged his speed a little bit and I hit the GoPro and the GoPro flew off so I didn't have any image anymore so I went full <laughs> straight to the ground. Right into the earth. Yeah right <laughs> into it. And I, I mean it's dirty but <laughs> It's not, I mean, it's still flyable. Yeah. But they feel like a much bigger quad than they actually are. You know, this this is the size of a, an MQX. Yeah, um, and we're running the uh, ready to fly flip 1.5 1, 1. boards. Yes. And pre flashed, right? Pre flashed. And uh, we didn't have to do anything. Just yeah. flash them. And... I was talking with Paul Baxter. I'm like, look, uh, I got this crazy blackout hex and quad. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll send you the file. So yeah. send a sketch file. And you can actually get it on his website, which is ready to fly quads.com. Yeah. You just download it, load it on the board. We didn't tune anything. It, yeah, it was just flying. And it it's flies. Awesome. It flies like a hex that's four times as big as this. Yeah. That's yeah. what it feels like. Yeah. Well, and the neat thing is, is, is although it is a pricey frame, they obviously take a beating and, and don't die on you. Yes. So you can keep going back for more and more. Yeah, they're tough. And that locked-in feel, it just, I've never flown a quad with such a locked-in feel in my life. Yeah, and, I, and to be honest, I was pretty skeptical at first because this, just the airframe alone, is 230 bucks. This is 150 bucks yes. for the airframe without any electronics, but the performance is so great that I think yeah. it's worth it. And, uh, and I, yeah, I, I can see the fact awesome. why they call them racing quads too. You know, yeah, these things fast. are meant to cut through the woods, yeah. and uh, it's it's a blast. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you so much, Blackout, for making this product. It's awesome. Thank Very you. Product of fun. Yeah, 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 and thank you guys for watching Flight Test, and thank you for sponsoring Flight Test. And anytime you go to the Flight Test store and you pick up a speed build kit or rotor bones or stickers or t-shirts or anything like that, you're helping us do what we do. Lots of new products coming out, too. Yeah. So thank right. you guys. We'll see you next time. See you next see time. Ya. See you. you guys want to get this bike up in the air, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll be fine again.